Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the opportunity to th share a few thoughts on the evaluation of the effectiveness of innovative education formats uh, in the digital realm. I'm Thomas Jäckel and I'm presenting on behalf of a team uh, based at the Austrian Academy of Sciences as well as uh, the Da Vinci Lab uh, who provided the learning environment I'm talking about. Before I start off with the learning environment, I wanted to give you a short idea about the preconditions uh, in Austria uh, for education, uh, digital basic uh, education in Austria. Um, actually, we do have a curriculum uh, for basic digital education um, that is compulsory in school. However, it does not say anything about uh, has this curriculum to be uh, taught in an integrated uh, way, which means within other subjects or as a separate subject. When this curriculum was introduced in 2018, we had no specific teacher training and there was little hands-on material available. This is exactly uh, where the Da Vinci Lab and its youth hackathons uh, came in. The youth hackathons are a concept that tries to playfully introduce uh, young people aged 10 to 18 to coding, to gaming and things like that. Actually, this idea was produced to give teachers the opportunity to have a four-hour workshop uh, within the curriculum. And students would develop or change existing games, code these, uh, produce specifications and so on. This whole thing was done in a constructivist, um, playful manner. So in the end, quite a lot of things were done right in this respect. If we look at the evaluation, um, and this is my main point today, um, we'll find out that it's, the evaluation is usually a more or less descriptive one. Um, we are producing descriptive data uh, about the geographical spread, for example, where did schools uh, uh, get in, how were teachers involved, uh, have students been happy, uh, did they show interest, uh, did they show motivation. All of these things um, tell us rather little about the idea um, about how uh, learning would be there in a sustainable way. So this is where our criticism of evaluation methods currently sets in. We do know very little about the actual effects, about the knowledge acquired, about the transferability, about competences acquired and the sustainability if students will reuse the knowledge acquired or the strategies acquired. Actually, most of these evaluation uh, methods uh, do not have a consistent theoretical setting backed up with a specific learning theory. And finally, uh, the gender dimensions are very weak. What we do know maybe is if one gender is more happy with the learning environment or finds it more attractive than the other. But we do not use gender as a fluid concept to structure our learning environments and to individualize them. So what I do suggest uh, is a more indicator-based and indicator-based on a theoretical uh, concept uh, term of evaluation. Uh, and this indicator-based um, evaluation should uh, be useful for both teachers as a final users of a learning environment and of course a scientists who want to re-try 
the evolution. Thanks.